WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update, and currently we have all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow's off 316 points, about nine-tenths, six-tenths for the S&P, or 27 points. The Nasdaq's 49 points, three-tenths percent. Russell, seven-tenths, 14. Semis are down six-tenths, or 20 points out there. Spot volatilics trade up nine pennies, 2303. I believe we mentioned yesterday that it was forming a TD nine-count bottom, so important to watch yesterday's low out there. You've got gold up 14 bucks, 1935 is its print. Silver's up 25 cents, a little over 1%. 2516 is where she is printing. Lights recruit up 446, about 113.75. And you got the 30 year treasury, which also formed a TD9 count bottom yesterday. That's up uh, nearly one full point, 30 ticks right now, trading out at 149.12. So we normally go over and take a look at our market update chart. Not that we shouldn't do that, but we're not going to do that. The reason is I'm going to use, well, we, we may we may end up getting over there, but right now what I want to do is just really kind of get right to the point and uh, give you something to uh, watch here today. And what we're looking at is a 60-minute time frame chart. So one of the things that I'm doing when the market is pulling back, I'm looking for a time frame that's generating either top or well, if it's pulling back, bottom signals out here. It turns out that today it's been the 60-minute uh, time frame. You can see in the upper left-hand corner of the ES Mini, this has formed bar number 9 of a TD9 count. Well, it formed a TD9 count bottom. It was actually bar number 8 was the low of the pattern out here and now price is about and when you when you form a bottom doesn't matter what time frame or a top in this case you were talking about bottoms you will typically then see price make its way to the oscillator and change line which in essence it did as we were coming on the air at uh, one o'clock so you want to watch the low out here because if you see a close below today's low that would be in the es mini 4465 25 4445 would be the level it would go target and folks if uh, price closed below 44 40 75 we could actually be taking a look at a, a potential change in trend that would be the short-term signal now the nq did not form a td9 count bottom but the dow the ym and the russell did the dow right now is saying it wants lower price and it wants to go target the 34156 level the reason that we say that is as we came on the air at one o'clock that bar closed at the closing price was uh 34386 and the low of the td9 count pattern was 34393 so that pattern's been negated. So what you should expect at least uh, here is some additional selling pressure, primarily led by the Dow of the four equity future contracts as we speak. But if those levels, if these guys lose their TD9 count bottom patterns, all the markets are gonna head lower. Take, uh, uh, folks, thanks so much for joining me. Stay tuned for the Trader Set Show. If you're off to start your Wednesday, have a wonderful day. We'll see you soon.